Hello again and welcome to the third CryptoWaves tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to use your Waves wallet in storing and trading CryptoWaves to other currencies. So, in, in previous uh, tutorials, we discussed how you can earn crypto points by being active on the CryptoWaves website. And we also said that once you have 1000 crypto points, they are automatically converted to crypto waves, which uh, has the ticker symbol CWV, and they are automatically sent to your crypto waves, uh, sorry, to your waves wallet. We also discussed in the first video how to open a waves wallet. So once, since you have a wallet, you will need to click on the wallet that you want to open, type in your password, and then click on login. A few seconds later, the way the wallet is open and you can see all your uh, available currencies that you can use. You can use dollars, euros, Bitcoin, Waves, Ethereum, and you also can see your uh, latest history. You can also see that there are a lot of buttons at the top. We're going to discuss the importance of some of them. First of all, we're going to start with your portfolio. As we said before, Waves is a blockchain platform which allows you to create your own uh, your own currency and your own tokens, which are called assets. Uh, some of these assets, for example, CryptoWave, the one that we use, is an asset that is based on the Waves platform. You can also see all the assets that you have in your portfolio. Some of them, as you can see, have a green tick, while others don't. Be really careful when buying uh, assets that don't have the green tick because assets that uh, don't have a green tick are not verified. So as you can see, CryptoWave is verified, so it's official and it's recognized on the DEX platform, which is very good for you. Uh, so be careful. Sometimes there are uh, coins which are fake. So for example, someone might offer to sell you Bitcoin at a very low price if it doesn't have the green tick, it means it's a fake Bitcoin and it's not real. So don't buy it. Uh, the, th the second one and the most important uh, thing that you will, the button that you will use is the Waves Decentralized Exchange, which is called DEX. It's just like any other trading platform. When you open it, you will see uh, that uh, the exchange rate uh, from Waves to Bitcoin. Here, you can just type in CryptoWave there and you will find CryptoWave here. If you cannot find CryptoWave because sometimes the connection is very slow and you won't be able to type in CryptoWave. So what you can do is you can either go back to your portfolio, find the CryptoWave asset, click on details, copy the identifier just, just click on it and it's automatically copied and then you can paste in the identifier code here and the asset just appears there in case you don't have any crypto wave so you can't find your asset code just go back to our website click on the faq and in the faq you will find our uh, our asset code which is this one over here, it's on point 26. Okay, you just copy that, take it to the DEX platform, and just paste it in, and CWV to BTC appears. You can <coughs> trade CryptoWave to Bitcoin, or you can just choose any other currency to trade it to. Then, you will see here the buy orders. So, it's here people want to buy CryptoWave, they place orders and if you want, if you have CryptoWave and you like the price they are offering, you can just sell it to them. You click on it, it's automatically here. You can change the number of CryptoWave that you want to sell. Of course, it can't be more than they are offering for. Uh, here you can see the sell orders. So whoever wants to sell the CryptoWaves that they have, also if you like the price, you can buy from here. The good thing about CryptoWave is that there's always someone buying Crypto wave. So whenever you have crypto wave, we can buy it back from you. This order right here, it's the official uh, the official price that crypto waves is offering for waves. This is how much we value it for, based on how much we are making from advertisement on our website. So you just 
put in if you want let's say if you want to sell uh, crypto aid that you have you just click on the offer and then uh, fill it uh, fill in the the whole thing and just so here is the offer let's say I want to sell 10 of my crypto aids I just click on sell as you can see here it says order has been created a few minutes later you will see the order uh, appearing at the top of your history we're not gonna wait for that uh, third thing that we're going to check is leasing now just like you can mine Bitcoin instead of mining waves you can lease it which means that you can just kind of rent it to another uh, company or another person who has a lot of waves and he's generating income from waves and if you lease your waves to them you make their node bigger which means they earn more so they can give you part of their earnings uh, if you lease waves you can never lose them so at any time that you want you can just cancel your lease uh, here you can see all your latest transactions as you can see here the exchange sell uh, has just started to appear and it will soon be verified it doesn't take long to verify it here is the token creation tab so if you want to create your own asset you can just fill in the information how many tokens you want to create and how many decimals uh, whether it's reissuable or not and then the fee for creating a waves token is one wave and here you can see just what's going on in the community as in the latest transactions incoming outgoing all the transactions that are there uh, also if you want to send uh, waves to someone or let's say if you want to send crypto wave to someone you just click on transfer put in their address put in the amount and if you want an attachment you can use that also and the fee is always steady at 0.001 waves which is very good for you if you don't have enough waves to create a, a transaction you can uh, use some of the waves faucets like uh, waves go and uh, waves drop uh, they're free to use so you just fill in your address and uh, solve a capture and then you earn some waves straight to your uh, wallet then you can use those to uh, to perform transactions if you want to perform a transaction on uh, DEX make sure that you have enough because you need 0 0.003 waves for uh, each uh, transaction so uh, in general this covers how we can use our waves wallet in order to perform uh, different uh, different tasks.